Hi guys, how you doing today? I am really excited to film a video today because I've had a palette sitting that I've been wanting to film with since it came out in September. September? Even before it went did I get it? August, September? I've been waiting to film. I haven't got around to it, but you know I wasn't going to let this palette go by without a review, right? So today I'm going to film with the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. This palette I have used to death. It has been through the wars already. I've been using it pretty much non-stop since I got it. If you look on my Insta, which is linked below, you'll see I'm doing all sorts of looks. I'm trying to put them up here as well. Like full beat, half beat, total beat, every beat you can think of. But today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do a really kind of nice, easy, quick, soft glam. Because obviously it's becoming into the party season and we don't always have hours to sit and do our makeup and we can't always get our mirror to do it for us. So I thought today would be the day that I would just show you guys what I do when I'm in a little bit of a hurry and I want to do a kind of smoky eye that looks like I've done like so much but it's not too time consuming and that's not going to be um, over the top. Just something a little bit more wearable and everyday because I haven't really done a video like that in a while. So today there's no cut creases, there's no carving, there's no Instagram, Instagram makeup. This is just kind of like everyday, really easy wearable makeup. I thought we would just do something a little bit different. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button. It would mean so much to me. Please hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me. And let's get into this full honey momento. Oh, grrr. You missed the tongue pox, right? <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to be the biggest hypocrite known to my right now, I'm not going to prime my eyes. I've also done my full base, this routine I filmed will either be up before or after the video, so either way it'll be linked below as soon as it's available. Um, and this is how I do my kind of everyday complexion routine. Um, I have got a 24 hour concealer on my eyes, and I have already started to kind of blend my bronzers through my crease, I always do this now, even when I'm doing an eye look, because I feel it makes everything look more cohesive and blended. So yeah, no eye primer today. Day. So I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. If you guys have got this yet, like, I'm sure you'll know the palette is phenomenal. It is, dare I say, can I say this? I think it's the best palette that Urban Decay have ever done. So, it's like, look at the packaging for one. Like, dripping gold honey and then inside you've got a really good variety of, like, kind of warm tones that are not super warm. So you've got a good variety, they're not warm, as in they're not really orangey, you know I've been kind of good off this orange eyeshadow height, but they're not too neutral either, they're right in between, they're like a wearable warm, so I really like it. Really nice shimmers, really nice mattes. I've been using this palette non-stop on myself, I've been using it on my clients, I've been really, really liking it, but I just thought today I want to do something really easy and really fun. I'm going to just start off by taking the shade Keeper. Keeper is a nice kind of yellowy matte colour, but before I do that... Okay, I've zoomed you guys in so you can see what I'm doing. So, um, I've already, obviously, as you know, I've put a little bit of bronzer through my crease just to warm things up. But now I'm going to take the shade Keeper. Keeper is this really nice kind of mustard transition colour. And I'm going to use that just backwards and forwards through the crease just to warm everything up. And I've already, as you know, from my previous video that I've uploaded with my complexion, I did run a little bit of bronzer through my crease just to warm things up um, for my complexion look but I'll always go over it with eyeshadow so that everything looks super blended it just helps tie everything together so if I'm doing any sort of neutral look nowadays with browns I'll always have my bronzer through as a base first anyway but then using that shade keeper over top will just help give that really nice kind of honey like golden caramel toned crease which is what we're really looking for this colour alone sometimes I will just leave on and do it as my kind of go-to look and just buff it all over the lid and really smoke it out but that wouldn't be the most interesting palette video for you guys so we're going to do a little bit more than that today don't worry and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip in and I'm going to do a lot of this with big fluffy brushes just because I want it all to be super soft and defined but I'm going to take the shade Drip next. Drip is this really nice kind of terracotta warm brown and I say warm but you know it's not like orangey warm it's like neutral warm and just window wiper that through the crease too. So you want to make sure when you're doing this that you're getting a really even and soft blend. So I'm going to just work with softer and bigger and fluffier brushes, which as you guys know, is not my kind of normal vibe. Normally I like little small brushes to really define the crease that I don't have. But today we'll do it this way. So what I'll do, I don't know if you can see on camera, I've got my honey palette, I'm holding it right here and I'm looking down at it as I blend. But I kind of like to use it so I can see my crease more clearly and push the shadow up into my crease. It means that the brush is finding your crease for you 
and you're getting a really naturally defined eye socket as opposed to when I'm doing my more kind of carved out and full glam looks I can kind of make up my own eye socket because I'm going to carve it out but this is a soft everyday look so that is not the vibe we're going for today but I just like using this palette for a really easy soft glam look I just think it makes everything look really easy and um, the colours on it just build so nicely so it'll give you a really easy and effortlessly soft look to your makeup which is obviously what we like I'm just going over it with a bit more of the shade Keeper, just to make sure we don't lose that yellow and you've got a really easy brown smoke so you could if you're going for a really dark look take a little bit of the shade Sting which is this really dark brown here maybe take a little bit on what brush my Morphe R39 maybe like this kind of, these kind of flat blendery pencil brushes um, and I'm going to just take that up on that and we're going to just put that in the outer corner and then just work it into the crease again looking down at your mirror so that it does a lot of the blending for you and instantly we're already going much darker than what I had planned today I was literally going to do like two crease colours and a shimmer and call it a day but you know I wanted to do a really easy party look and I think this is a really easy way just to amp things up is taking that dark colour into your crease and just using it to really define and contour your eyes so I suppose it is a bit more of a return to the softer glam looks because we are just really kind of layering up and actually as you notice today I went light to dark with my colours normally I go dark to light and buff them out but I think for the softer looks when you're not wanting it to be as impactful and you're not wanting it to be so heavy um, going light to dark is always a really good way to do it and I like that with the naked palettes because you've always got your matte shades that go light to dark so it's really easy to build up your colours and give it a really smooth and even blend. So again, if you wanted to be a matte smoky eye, you could pick any of your matte shades and just run it over the lid and that would be you. But today I'm going to do a little bit of fun with shimmer. So as you can see, we've got a really nice warm crease going and I'm really liking how the colours have built. That was so easy. Built up in no time, as you guys can see. Um, and the colours just look so nice, so I really like it. But what I'm going to do now is take a little bit of uh, shimmer. And I think today I'm going to Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to take a shimmer. Why should I? I'm going to just take on my brush a little bit more of the shade Drip. I'm going to just run that all over my lid. Big fluffy brush is fine. So yeah, some more Drip. And it gives you almost the look of a matte smoke. Just for everyday, quick and matte and smoky. So yeah, why not? So I'm going to take, now this is almost done because I love this so much. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 glide on eye pencil in the shade whiskey it's just a really nice warm matte brown and I'm going to just run that along my lash line so for me with my hooded AF eyes tight line is a really nice way to bring a little bit of dimension into the eye but I'm not being precise here I'm going to smudge it anyway yeah then a little pencil blender brush I'm sure we've all got one of them at home like this and take the darkest shade again and just smudge that out and then what I'm going to do is take the shade Honey Honey is this kind of metallic yellow which isn't as um, like opaque as the rest of the colours in the palette because it's more of a topper I'm going to use my finger for this and I'm literally going to just press that all over the eyelid this is just a really quick and easy way so you could even do like your brown smokes every day and then you're going on a night out and you want to just amp it up just take a little bit of that honey shade and just run it all over your lids and you'll see it just adds the nicest bit of sparkle to the lids. I had this one the other day and I got so many people compliment me on it so I just thought let's bring it to YouTube today and you'll see how easy that was just to kind of transform from your matte brown smoke to something a little bit more fun and then I actually wasn't planning on doing quite as much as that with the yellow but hey and you'll see just kind of patting that all over just gives it a really nice kind of glittery finish which I really like so then all we're going to do is take a little bit more of that brown then we'll take a little bit more of the Urban Decay Whiskey Pencil I'm going to just line my lower lashes and then I'll take my little pencil blender brush I'm going to just smudge it out I'm going to just mix the two darkest colours Drip and Sting and then do the lower lash line just to kind of finish the look off a little bit and tie it together 
Oh, I like this a lot. This has like honestly become like the new favourite look for me. So yeah, we'll be doing more of these kind of quick and easy glams. Um, I think I'm going to put a little bit more of that honey shade just in my... So yeah, I think I'm going to take a little bit more of that shade honey and just really pop it in my inner corner just to make it really vibrant. I'm not going to use my fingers for this. I'm not going to use my fingers. I'm going to use a little Zoeva detailed shader. And I'm going to just press that in. So you see how just adding that little pop of the kind of yellow glittery shade just really brought the look to life and really transformed it. Um, so it's definitely something you could do if you wanted to kind of just amp up your brown smoke per night out and give it a touch of sparkle for the Christmas season. What I'm going to do now is just jump off camera, finish this eye and then I'll meet you back here. Um, I'm going to be putting some lashes as well. So I'll meet you back here in five. Okay, okay, I have finished the other eye and I also put on some lashes. This is totally optional if you're wanting a really natural beat and mascara will do it just a check. You could also take this look and really amp it up. You could do like black liner, you could really smoke out the lower lash line. You could add like lined liner if you want to, but you know, we're not a bit that way from my channel. Um, you could do like anything, you could add like glitter. I was actually going to put on um, some of my favourite Urban Decay Heavy Metal glitters, um, Midnight Cowboy and Goldmine, like layered up. But I wanted to make this video as like kind of easy, quick, fun, natural. Did I just say natural? This is not natural, but you know what I mean? Really easy glam to do. So I wanted to make it as easy as possible, which is why I kind of left it here. And um, I hope you guys really like this video. It was a little bit of a change of pace for me, a little bit of a change of style for me, and um, really soft and really natural. But I really, really liked it actually. I really like the colours in the Honey palette. Um, I think they really make my eyes pop, so that's why I quite like it. And I quite like going for more of a like natural look with it, just because I think it gives a really nice finish to the eyes and really complements my new kind of bronzy boy glam look to the skin. So, so if you guys have not got your hands on the Naked Honey palette yet, I really would recommend it. Like, I am not one to advocate going and buying a palette for the sake of it, but this one I have been using now for... Like three months, say three, September, October, November, aye, three months, um, December we're in now, so like, we'll, we'll say three, two, three months to be safe, um, oftentimes I'll do a palette and I'll do like a first impressions tutorial, or I'll do, I'll use it for the first time on camera and then very rarely do I use it again, so this one I've been trying and testing for months and I've been really, really liking it, I think it's a really, really nice addition to the Naked palette, might be my favourite Naked palette yet, it's between that and Naked Heat, so, hot honey, honey heat, Heed honey, um, kind of mega palette would be the dream, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I have to kind of left it just with the gloss on, that is again the Urban Decay Naked Honey Lip Plumping Lip Gloss Lip Plumper. Um, I really like that just for a quick, quick everyday lip look, but I think this look would go with a lot of lip options, maybe steer clear from like a red. Um, it might look a little bit too festive, <laughs> but if you wanted to do it with like a nice nude, a dark nude, um, even like a really vampy like berry lip, I think it would go really well, but I just wanted to do the gloss today, um, just so you guys can see a focus on the eyes. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this look, let me know down in the comments if you like the kind of softer glam style that we tried today, um, or if you're more of a full beat type of vibe which I normally am, so I'm kind of both ways. Um, yeah, but thank you so much for watching guys, if you haven't hit subscribe, Please do. I really appreciate it. If you haven't rung the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me, make sure you do that as well. And um, hit me up on my other social medias. So will be on the screen somewhere here and also in the description box below. So yeah, hit me up. Let's chat. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.